the porn conflict. What is it and the way out? Welcome back for another episode of Porn Brain Rewire with me, Dr. Trish Lee, coming to you live from my coche at uh, the barn where my daughter rides horses. I have so many of my now infamous napkin notes stacking up with important messages regarding porn and how to leave porn for you. And I want to make sure I get these videos and audios made before the napkins get tossed aside forever. And I know that from experience. Today's a really good one. Today, I want to share with you what the conflict with porn is, where that conflict lies. That's number one. Number two is how that conflict impacts you neurologically. So the conflict is a psychological one. Um, but psychology really is a two-way street with neurological brain performance. We're going to cover that. We're also going to talk about how that rolls out in your mind and your body physiologically. Then number three is your brain hack strategy for the day. It is a simple one, but not necessarily an easy one. So we will cover that on how you can move forward in dispelling uh, and kind of letting this conflict go so that you can move through to the other side. So let's get started today with number one, what is this conflict? So essentially the conflict is one between two separate and distinct thought systems. Every person moves through the world based upon the way that they see the world. So instead of seeing is believing, what I want you to do is shift the framework to believing is seeing, which means what you think is what you get. So depending upon your programming from the past, you may have an existence that you love or you may have an existence you less than love. Now, I know this from years of living an existence that was not authentic to me and it never felt right. I always felt like I was born in the wrong place. I didn't fit in. Um, it felt wrong. And it's because my thought system was so different than all the people around me. So let's talk distinctly about this thought system and the conflict. What the conflict is, is number one, you had, you either had or you still sometimes have the notion that porn is good for you or porn is harmless. That's the first thought system. It's really no big deal. It doesn't affect anybody else. Um, it's my habit. It's a way to release steam and pressure and it's a way to escape for a little while. It's no big deal. It's not that harmful. That's thought process number one. But then thought process number two has either been coming on or you ebb and flow and go in and out of it. And thought process number two is, all right, maybe porn is impacting me. Maybe it is affecting my work. Maybe it is affecting my athletic performance. Maybe it is affecting my social life. Maybe it is affecting my marriage or my relationship. Maybe it is impacting the way I interact with my kids or other people, my friends. So that's thought system number two. And understanding that the way you see porn and its role in your life will very much impact how you move through the world in relationship to it. Okay, so that conflict within you produces strain. It produces a psychological strain. So sometimes you think it's okay, sometimes you think it's not okay. The minute you commit and you know it's not okay, and you are no longer engaging in it, you will get to the other side of it. Doesn't mean you'll get to the other side of it that very moment, but the process will begin. And in fact, this is a process for most people, not an event. So once you pick a thought system and you anchor into it, you then can move forward in the process. We'll talk about that in a minute. Let's go to number two. Number two is what happens neurologically or in terms of brain performance patterns in your brain because of this conflict. You can't have peace if there's strain in the nervous system. It literally changes the way that your brain operates. Now we know first and foremost that a porn habit in and of itself 
produces this strain in your brain. It keeps your brain swinging back and forth like a pendulum between wired and tired. So that brain pattern in and of itself is like gassing and breaking in the system, creating a lot of tension in the nervous system. What that does is it puts your brain into extra fast speed and into extra slow speed simultaneously. If you keep going, especially with frequency, consistency, and intensity of porn use, you will tip from strained brain into drained brain. But essentially, the conflict of going into porn and feeling resulting shame and then showing up in the world where now there's less dopamine in your life because you've linked your brain to the screen for higher levels of dopamine, which means now there's resulting lower levels of dopamine in your life, and there's actually added cortisol from this conflict and this strain that's happening on a psychological and a neurological level. So that shows up in your brain performance pattern. I can see it in the QEEG brain maps that I perform for people. Ultimately, what ends up happening is if you tip into drain brain, your system becomes exhausted and you permanently or semi-permanently shift your brain into artificial neutral from the super normal stimulus of porn. Very high level of mental and physical stimulation. Shift your brain into artificial neutral. And then what happens is the result is drained brain. Drain brain leads to sexual arousal function challenges or sexual arousal dysfunction, what I call SAD. And that can lead to erectile dysfunction. So I want you to know if you struggle with erectile dysfunction, this neurological and psychological conflict is also what can be attributed to anxiety, depression, to lack of motivation, to general malaise. So when you feel these different symptoms, whether it be physical or psychological, the neurological component is at the core of it. So let's move on to number three, what to do about the conflict. How is this conflict solved? What is the way out? The way out is simple, but not easy. The way out involves picking a thought system. Now, if you've been watching porn for a long time and it's led you to the conflict in your thought systems, the two of them are kind of crashing heads, that's a good place to be. It doesn't feel good, but what was totally fine for you for many years because it served survival mode in your brain, it was totally fine. There was no conflict. You were doing it, no problem. But now you feel that conflict within. This is the way out. It's to change the thought system from the survival thought system that has served you well over the years to thrival, which is your new thought system that will serve you in the upcoming years. Now, I've had a similar journey um, relatively recently where I've decided drinking really isn't for me anymore. And, you know, I spent 25 years partying with my friends. Not that alcohol was ever a problem for me, but what I thought to myself is I've been partying my booty off for literally the last 25 years. And it, as of late, you know, for the last year, I'm like, drinking is holding me back, even though it's not at problematic levels. It is holding me back. So over the course of that time, I've been reducing the amount that I drink. And now it it is something that doesn't serve me. The me moving into the future doesn't need to drink. So it's been this journey of, okay, originally I'm like, yeah, let's party. Friday, Saturday, let's party. Then it came down to, mm, you know what? Partying doesn't feel right to me anymore. Let's hibernate. You heard me talk about that. And now it's like, I'm in a different mode. If I'm going to crank things up physically, mentally, cognitively, in my relationship, in my business, it's time to let the old patterns die away, the old neurological pathways and the old brain patterns die away so that I can move into thrival mode at new heights. That's what I'm talking about for you. So your old thought system of porn is fine for me 
is now gone because this internal conflict is there and the conflict comes from that neurological strained brain pattern. It's coming from the fact that you no longer feel well because of porn. It used to serve you, but it no longer serves you, which means it's time to double down on the new thought system of, I need to figure out how to stop watching porn and how to recreate the lifestyle that I want and I deserve. And what that means for you is doubling down on purpose getting on purpose in your job and your work, in your hobbies and in your relationships and doing it without porn so you can engage and approach life in a totally different way. Now, the difficulty with the conflict is you have to pick between one thought system or the other. You can't continue with the conflict of the two thought systems because what it does is it perpetuates the struggle and the suffering that you are currently experiencing. That's why I'm here. I want you out of that suffering and struggling. So it's time to pick the new thought system. Porn is damaging my brain. It's creating anxiety, depression, lack of focus, lack of motivation. It indeed is impacting my relationship and you may have heard me before, porn is making it so you're less attracted to your partner and your brain will dopamine seek by high level supernormal stimuli of the screen or sexual acting out in other ways. It only leads you in a downward spiral. It's time to upward spiral it so that you can feel better mentally and physically for the rest of your life. If you need help on that journey, please reach out to me, drtrishlee.com. I have different programs in different shapes and sizes. I'm here to help. And until next time, control your brain or it'll control you.